Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Today I thought I would show you how to make a stamped journal card. I've got out the porthole stamp by Beelines Designs and I've got some black archival ink, jet black. I'm going to ink up my porthole stamp that's a, mounted to an acrylic block. When you buy these stamps, they come with called cling mounted. So you just peel off that paper backing and then you can attach them to an acrylic block. I'm going to stamp this oh, in this lower right hand corner here and then I'm going to fussy cut this out. I'm just going to go right around the edge and cut it out. I want this inner area to be cut out so I'm just going to use my craft knife. I think this one's by Fiskars and I'm going to cut right around that interior. So I'm rotating the paper a little bit, pulling that blade. My cutting mat is one of those Fiskars quilters cutting mat and I like having it underneath my projects like this because I can use my craft knife like this. So now I have the inner area. I've got a white piece of cardstock and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay the porthole on top of here and trace just inside that center area just lightly so I kind of know where it is. Kind of see that? I'm going to take one of the sailboats from the, I think it's called Sails Cube, and ink that up. And I want it somewhat in the center here, so I'm going to kind of go up a little bit and stamp. Then I'm going to grab some Distress Oxide in Mermaid Lagoon and go around the edges. I'm using a, it's basically a makeup brush. I found these on Amazon. And then I've got Mustard Seed and another blending brush. I'm just going to go right here in the center. Kind of gives it that look like it's in the sunset. Okay, just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and apply some Distress Inks to this edge here. I'm using Walnut Stain. I like using the darker color. I don't have to work as hard to get that nice vintage edge look. And I'm going to go ahead and do the inside ring as well. I'm going to glue this on top of the sailboat image and I'm going to use that hand-drawn circle in the middle as a guide when I go to place it down. So it kind of looks like you're looking out a porthole. I'm going to go ahead and use some scissors and trim this out. And I'll apply some distress inks to that edges in case that white paper shows through. I'll set that aside for a moment. And then this little scrap I'm going to stamp sailing off into the sunset. And I'm going to trim this out, so I'm just going to use my paper trimmer. I've got three pieces of paper here that I want to use, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half. This is, I'm not really sure, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and three quarters. I don't know, it was just a scrap of paper I had left over, and I happen to have a couple of them, so I thought, well, I'd use them. I'm going to apply some distress inks on all of these pieces. This is a gel print that I made. I put down my stencil, applied some paint, and then mopped up. Actually, I take that back. I put down some paint, laid a stencil on top, and then mopped up through that stencil to get this pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this down on the front panel of this card. I'm going to glue this on the top portion. All right, I want this down here, but it's kind of blah, kind of plain. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some cheesecloth, get a little piece of it here. Don't need a lot, probably about that much. And we're going to colorize it. So I'm going to lay it in my box and I've just put it in my box so that when I spray the Tattered Angel doesn't go everywhere. So I'm going to grab a couple of colors that are part of the Out to Sea kit. I've got uh, Out to Sea Deck and Out to Sea Deep Sea. So I'm going to spray a little bit of that deck, which is kind of a coppery brown, maybe a more bronzy. And then I'm going to do the green on top. I'm going to use my heat tool to dry this. And now I think what I want to do is I'm going to kind of wad this up just a little bit because I want to put it down here on the bottom. So I'm going to take some glue and just make a little bead of glue across here and then lay this on top. And then I'll lay the sentiment on top of that. I'll place a acrylic block on it for just a moment. 
I stamped this ahead of time. This is the Anchor Stamp, stamp Large, and I stamped it onto some craft card stock. I went ahead and fussy cut this out and applied some Distress Inks to the edges, and I think it would look really good right here on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that in place. And there is my finished little journal card that I'll put inside the Out to Sea junk journal that I'm working on. I hope you like seeing a quick little tutorial on how to use your rubber stamps and a gel print to make a journal card. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Know that I go live on Mondays doing junk journal live at 3 45 p.m central standard time and then again on thursdays at 12 30 p.m central standard time i do mixed media where i make gel prints and master boards and journal pages and to, uh, tags all kinds of fun stuff like that thank you so much for watching check the description box below for product links that have that i use today and y'all have a fabulous day bye everybody